Hi there everybody, my name is Ali and today we will be going to do task 8 from Trihack Me Room Naham store which will be regarding local file inclusion which is a vulnerability in which we are able to access the arbitrary files onto the web server what we actually do is that we see all those parameters which are getting some files like images or any other file and then we remove the original file name and then we do a path traversal to read files onto the web server the most easy file to look for is etsy password file which contains the information of the users which are onto the system and if we are successfully able to see the contents of password file then there is a local file inclusion vulnerability so today we will be finding some parameters and then test for local file inclusion vulnerability and then we will see different techniques as well to bypass the filters to successfully get local file inclusion vulnerability so that being said let's jump in I already have started my machine and my IP address is 1010.62.126 so I will come here to look task number 8 which is local file inclusion and it says somewhere in the application is an endpoint which allows you to read local files we have placed a document at lfi slash flag.txt for you to find the contents and we need to specify the flag here as well so first thing first I will come back to the website and I will first of all analyze how should I find those parameters which are having a local file inclusion vulnerability so the parameters which are having local file inclusion vulnerability are like file or like image or like URL all of those things which are having any file name in the URL so the easiest way which I would like to find those sort of parameters are that if I see any sort of image or any sort of asset onto the website I always click onto this image or any file or like URL or you can say anything and then I will see that parameter so first thing first I can see there are two images right now in front of me so let's click on this sticker pack right here image and in the URL I can see I got a product endpoint it is having two parameters ID and name but right now I if I click this image nothing happens but what I can do is I can view the page source right here and I can see that how this image is getting so what is the endpoint where this image is getting up so if I do control U onto my keyboard I can see the page source now if I zoom this out I can see right in the middle of my screen that here I am having image thumbnail source is equal to product slash pictures slash question mark file is equal to and then the image file name so if I click on this one you can see I got the image which is having a stickers onto the laptop so this is the endpoint this is a parameter which I have successfully found now whenever I find these sort of parameters I will definitely definitely check for local file inclusion vulnerability so what I will do right here is I will click here let's see this image right now and first thing first I will simply change this URL so uh, let's come back so I will remove the file name from here so what I will do is I will simply do period period backslash sorry period period, period forward slash and I will do it almost more than five times or six times and then I will do Etsy password file now as I told you what password file is it contains the names or usernames off to the system so right here you can see when I did Etsy password file I can see that uh, it says an error message of file does not exist so now um, from the error message I can see that it says that file does not exist so somehow somehow I think so it is looking for that file and it has not found this file and it is saying that hey file does not exist now I am not sure that whether there are some sort of filters being going on onto my request I don't I completely don't know what actually is going on so now what I will do is I will try to do a lot of things the first thing which I will do is I will do URL encoding because the period period forward slashes sometimes are getting filtered out so I will URL encode sometimes in the code the what the developers have done is that they might filter out period period slash and they will remove that so what we can do is if I open go to my terminal if I open a test file so let me show you what actually can happen so let's say this is what I am doing so I am doing this thing so let me zoom this out yes yeah, so I am doing this thing and then I am doing etsy pass wd so somewhat I have seen this on main applications that what they are actually doing is that they are filtering out period period 
forward slash so the filters are being removing this thing so filters are removing this thing with a blank space so like this so what we can do is we can simply do this thing so period 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 for those two slashes then period 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 and two slashes and this thing so what actually will happen is that when they will try to remove now if there are some filters being going on if they will remove this thing from this request what will happen so let's remove this one so they are removing two dots and a forward slash so let's remove two dots and a forward slash from here so two dots and a forward slash and it becomes this two dots and a forward slash it becomes this and this and this and finally this so it becomes the actual request and if it works it i we will see the contents of etc wd file what else we can do is we can also do the same thing if there are the filter being going on for period period forward slash what we can do is we can try to do like let's say this and if we do period slash here and one period here so now if they are removing period period forward slash so let's remove period period forward slash from here and here you go so we get again a period period forward slash and then we can bypass that filter as well so we can try to do all of these things as well so let's come back here now i like to do all of these things in my burp suite so i will turn on my burp suite right here i'll come to my burp suite i will refresh the page come back to my burp suite history here i got the request and if i send this request to repeater let's come back to repeater now if i send this one let's see what error message we get it says file does not exist so first thing first what i will do is i will simply select this one and i will do control u to url encode but it not it's not working for me let's click here convert selection control shift u to do url decode and control u but i don't know why my control u is not working so let's url encode this one and again not working let's see if i can url encode this one control u still not working but what we can do is if i convert selection url encode all characters yes so now it is working so percentage 2e percentage 2e and percentage 2f is the period period forward slash so we can do this one and let's hit send now and file does not exist as well so now it is not existing that's fine let's un url decode and now what i will do is i will try to do all of that thing so i will do period 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 and forward slash right here and i will copy this from here so copy and i will paste afterwards so paste 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 and paste now these all of the things we are doing manually so let's see and when i did this one so it looks like that there was a filter being run which was doing the same thing which i explained you into my sublime text editor and last time i got a different error and this time i am getting you do not have permission to view this file so something strange is going on so again let's try to url encode this one so i will right click here convert selection url encode all characters send now you do not have permissions that's fine one thing which we can also do is we can url encode and sometimes they are appending some sort of files uh, file extension at the end so if i come back to my browser you can see when it was an original file so if i come back from here yeah so you can see there was an extension at the end which was dot jpg so what we can do is we can try to add a null byte at the end so that if it is appending any extension it should remove that one so send now it says file does not exist uh, we can do null byte dot jpeg file does not exist remove all of these you do not have permission to view this file so it looks like that i cannot do anything right here so that's fine let's un url decode this one and send this one again you do not have permission then what i can do is i can try to i have done everything but it is not working so one thing which we have not done it in when it was there was a question here it says you can read lfi flag.txt so let's try to do that one if we can read that one or it is still giving me some sort of error so lfi flag.txt and hit send 
and here you go you can see now i am able to access this file and here you go i am having the flag so this is how we basically bypass local file inclusion vulnerability we try to do a lot of path traversal sometimes period period slash sometimes four periods two slashes and all of these things sometimes url encoding and those of things now there are a lot of things a lot of people say that i have seen a lot of things that look for the parameters which are having like file image url or those parameters you should look into those parameters as well but no there it's not necessary that the local file inclusion vulnerability might be right in that file parameter so the local file inclusion vulnerability can be anywhere so let's say there is a product endpoint what i can do in between product endpoint is i can simply do slash period period slash period period slash and let's see if it works now send and it says bad request so we can url encode this thing as well so select this one convert selection url url encode all characters send again here nothing then i can add a null byte at the end as well so null byte hit send nothing and right here i can do local file inclusion vulnerability as well so it is not necessary you that you could find local file inclusion in any parameter so normally if i come back here when you are having an api endpoint so like this so let's say you are having an api endpoint something host slash api slash v1 slash user slash one like this so what you can do is you can try to you know, manipulate this one as well and you can try to remove this user from here you can do this you can do this and admin sometimes it might work or you can do user right here you can remove one from here you can do this and this and this and then admin from here it might be possible that you might get access to user and no matter whether it is version one version two or version three you can try all of these and try to do um, a lot of things so you need to get creative basically so all of the things in bug bounties is that you need to get creative and you need to find out how to get a local file inclusion now for those of you who doesn't know how to test manually for local file inclusion i will show you automation as well so we will use fuzzing as well and the second thing which we will use is lfi suit from github so let's come back here again and let's try to go to github and let's look for lfi suit so lfi suit is again local file inclusion checking let's say it will detect for local file inclusion and it is automation basically what we actually do is we will give him a list of file and we will give him a url and what it will do is it will find out the local file inclusion vulnerability it will test for every endpoint and it will look for that one so i will clone this complete repository onto my kali machine so i will do git clone paste the url of that github directory and ls cd into lfi suit ls here and i am having lfi suit dot pi so i will simply do python lfi suit and hit enter now you will get a lot of error sometimes that there is no term color and mm, a lot of installation error so you can just simply go to github issues page you will see there are the solutions for every error for this one now i will come back to scanner here and then it says enter the cookies so i will not enter any cookies right now then it says you need to enter your um, enable your tor proxy so i will not enable this one right here as well and then it says enter the name for the file containing the path so i will say path to to test.txt so this comes pre-installed so i will simply press enter for the default one and then it says enter the url so for the url i will come here and i will simply click on this image or this one i will copy complete url come back here and i will remove the jpeg one so my terminal is not working okay so right away you can see when i pressed enter it is testing for local file inclusion in the file parameter so you can see right here 
so this is an automation tool which will look for all of the files and most probably this is much more helpful when you have successfully found local file inclusion vulnerability to escalate your local file inclusion vulnerability into like remote code execution and those things so you can find different files onto the server or all of the things so right away it will look for everything but sometimes automation doesn't work sometimes it does work it depends upon your word list so right now it is having all of these so it can take some time so i will just press ctrl c right here i just wanted to show you how things actually work so in this word list there is no payload which will give us flag.txt or etsy password so let me show you one more unique trick which can help you a lot and that is fuzzing using ffuff so now i press ctrl c right here this was all about lfi suit and it is not allowing me to control c so let's press ctrl z just to suspend this one clear the screen and now i will do is i will show you another tool called fuff and that is one of the most fastest and amazing one so again i will do fuff and before doing fuff uh, we need a word list so again for word list i would highly recommend you that you should use checklist so i will do locate checklist and i will grab for in case sensitive and i will grab for lfi so I am having a lot of word, word lists which are having LFI in them from checklist and dash I means that in case sensitive. So if I added LFI in small characters, it will show me the greater ones as well and small ones as well. So the one which I like the most is LFI, which is from Jason Hedix. So I will use this word list now and I will show you how to first for local file inclusion. So again, I will do fuff dash u for URL HTTP colon slash slash the ip address or i will do naham store.thm then i will do or let's copy the url from the website so copy the url paste the url here i will remove the file name here and i need to do fuzzing right here so i will do fuzz right here and there is a question mark in this url so i will add this in single quotations like this and then i will specify the word list the word list will be again this one so i'll copy this paste the word list here and then i will hit enter so I will hit enter and right away I will press control C because it is giving me 200 status on every file. I don't want this one because I know this might be a false positive or uh, these might not work because I cannot get every file and it is giving me 200. So what I will do is I will use filter codes or filter status from or filter size from the fuff. So what I will do I can see the size of every file is 19. So what I will do I will again run the same command this time i will do dash fs to filter the size and i don't want to see the size which is having 19 so i will press enter now and let's wait for it so now i got some results and again you can see i didn't got the ones which are having the size of let's say 19 now this time i got the size of 45 so the let's see what was the payload so again you can see from the word list of jason hedix the payload which work was again four periods two forward slashes so again it is giving me hc password and what i can do is now in my case hc password is not working so if i remove all of this from here uh, there might be some protection over there so if i hit send yeah, so it says you do not have permission but again if i change hc password and i do lfi slash flag dot txt so yeah so here we go so i am having the flag right here so again these were the two methods of automation one of them is lfi so the other one is fuff both of them are quite similar and both of them are doing fuzzing and it, whenever we will get some other result we will get this one Fuff is quite fast and LFI suit is a little bit slow but again both of them works so again we found this one again it doesn't work you can go URL encode try different techniques go um, get creative and try to find out local file inclusion so this was it for today's video and let's copy the flag and let's try to answer the question and let's see if it is okay so I'll paste the flag here hit send and I am having a correct answer so this was all about local file inclusion you go look after them look for every file parameter image parameter go after every like uh, endpoint check there whether it is having any error go there go to do url encode try to do everything and find out the local file inclusion vulnerability so this was it for today's video and i will see you in the next video take care bye